Hey, Mick Meany here, ProfitCopilot.com, and today you will discover how to drive website traffic from news and media organizations like Google News and other high traffic platforms. So here are 10 free press release distribution services. Plus, I'm going to show you how to write a press release in seven easy steps. So the first press release distribution service that I've got for you is called Online PR Media. Now the website address is onlineprnews.com and it's going to try and sell you one of their packages. They start from $22, but there is a way to use this for free. So you don't have to go ahead and pay to use it. Now to access your account, I think it gives you one free or maybe two free press, rele press releases a month. Go to this hidden navigation bar. It's kind of hard to see but we have this login button. Click on that and then go to sign up now, go through the process, create your account, and then you will be able to log into your account. So I'm going to log into mine and you can see what it looks like on the inside. Now I'm not going to go through this process for every single press release distribution service because there's 10 to go through and I just want to give you the information so you can get up and running as fast as possible. So here you can see on the left hand side, we've got a few options here. So we have my press releases, my draft releases, resources and settings. So what you want to do here is first of all, create a, a uh, press uh, dra draft press release, excuse me. So click on that button. Let me show you that again. So click submit press release. Now again, it's going to try and get you to buy a package, but you don't need to do that because if we just scroll down, a little bit here we have some options so here we have a free option and okay it's not going to do quite as well it's not going to be as fancy as one of the paid versions but it's going to get you up and running it's going to get you some traffic and ultimately really it comes down to the journalists who see your press release they will make the decision on whether to run with it or not plus I'm going to give you some handy tips later on to help make that happen okay so that's the first one. So that's online PR media, but the website address is onlineprnews.com. So the next one is a really easy to remember website. It's pr.com. Listen, they all work in the same way. So I don't need to create an account. I don't need to walk you through that process. So you just hit submit press release. It will ask you to create an account. Go ahead, do that, and then you're good to go. The next one I've got for you is called PR Mac. Com. Now, this is kind of slanted uh, towards Apple and Apple News. So if if you're targeting those kind of people with those de those demographics or psychographics, this is going to be really beneficial to you. However, don't let that stop you. You can get some really good results, even if you're not targeting Apple users. But I know that Apple News tends to use this quite a lot. They pull information from this. So of course you have to create an account, go ahead, register, and then you can click post release, put in your details and you're good to go. The next one I've got for you is called pr-inside.com. So again, it's a very easy to use website. Here we can see the latest uh, press releases that have gone live on the website. If you want to see an example of how people are creating content and submitting it to this website, there's lots of examples there. However, I'm going to give you that strategy, that uh, framework to use later on that works for everyone. Okay, so to use this website, click sign up and then go to new press release. And then you'll be able to publish directly to the website. Okay, the next one is called marketpressrelease.com. That's quite a lengthy name, but this is a pretty powerful website. So let's go to PR pricing. You can see there that, ha that they have a free plan available. It allows you to publish one press release per day. That's good enough for us, right? Now, of course, if you're getting lots of traction from press releases, if you make it a cornerstone of your marketing strategy, then of course it makes sense to start paying for these services. But if you just want to tip your toe in the water, then it makes sense to use the free plans. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is OpenPR. Dot com. It comes in two flavors. You have the British version 
and the German version. Don't worry too much about this because it does have global distribution. So you're good to go. OK, so here you're going to see some of the latest press releases that have been published. And then to submit yours, click Submit Press Release and then choose Submit Press Release free of charge. Click that. It will walk you through the process. It will give you a free code to use and then it will it will distribute your press release for you. So that's P or oh, excuse me, that's openpr.com. Let's move on to the next. So the next one is 24-7 press release. So when you sign up, you'll be able to submit another one for free. These all work in pretty much the same way. So let's move on to the next. This is 188 pressrelease.com. So it's 1888 pressrelease.com. Now, if we take a look at the pricing, we can see that they're going to try and get you to, to move up to the uh, paid versions. Now, it says that Google News starts at $25. Let me let you in on a little secret about Google News in a second. And we can see that they have a free version available. And OK, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles and, and all that stuff. But in my honest opinion, you might not even need that anyway. So let me tell you about how Google News works, because I have websites that feed into Google News. What that means is every time I publish an article, it will appear in Google News. So I'm speaking from experience here and I've been a Google News member in that way for well over a decade. So I know what I'm talking about here. Listen, it really comes down to the journalists and the news organizations that feed into uh, Google News. Now, while a website like this, like 1888 press release might help you to get into Google News, chances are it might be on one of their their websites specifically made for Google News that does not have the same kind of reach or authority. So Google News does not mean a shortcut to enormous levels of traffic. Now, the thing with Google News is just because someone is searching Google for a particular key phrase, it doesn't mean that they're also searching Google News for that same key phrase. So you have to do your research here. With that said, you can actually leapfrog some of the organic listings with carefully selected key phrases, things that tend to be of uh, of current interest. So what I recommend you do is see if the current keyword selection is allowing you to leapfrog. So see if Google News is being displayed on the organic listings for those keywords. If they are, then you know that you can leapfrog temporarily, at least, all your competitors and then step in front of some, you know, crazy levels of traffic. I've personally used that to get some very, very competitive key phrases, but it doesn't happen for every keyword. OK, let's move on to the next one. This is pressbox.co.uk. They have all these different categories. So let's see what's happening in marketing. Let's get rid of that annoying ad. Now you will see the, the most recent press releases from your competitors. So you might get some inspiration from these guys. So this one, online advertising isn't dead. This is a really nice press release. It, it stacks loads of value and it's going to be of enormous interest to people like us. So we have this section here, this navigation system. So submit free press release, click on that, fill in all the details, link to your website, give it a strong headline. I'll speak about that in a couple of minutes. Put in your press release there and you're good to go. OK, let's move on to the next one. This is freeprnow.com, freeprnow.com. And if we click submit your free PR now, it's going to take us to a section where we can go ahead and log in or sign up if we're not a member. OK, so I promised to give you a lesson in how to write a press release in seven easy steps. So step one is to add the following words to the very top of your press release for immediate release. So when you put this at the very top of your press release, it tells journalists that they should run with the story immediately. 
And also, around the top of the press release, include your contact information as well, especially your phone number. Step two, use the headline and the subheading to summarize the story. So keep your headline short and snappy, but it has to be interesting. You see, journalists see dozens of press releases every day. So you really have to make yours stand out and the headline is going to help you to do that. Step three is to add your location and your news peg to the opening paragraph to the very, very first line. Now think of a news peg as a hook. In copywriting, we call it a hook. And this is what is really going to pull the journalist into your story. So that has to be interesting. Again, step four is to write maybe just two or three paragraphs. You know, you don't have to write these long winded press releases. You can do them really quick, really easily. And if your story is short and to the point, then it's going to be easier for you, for uh, the journalist to digest it and hopefully run with it. So to, to make sure that you have the best possible chance of that, stick to the who, what, when, where, and why. So use that structure to write your press release. So the who, what, when, where, and why. Cover all those points. Think about the questions of each one of those. So who is this about? What is it about? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And why did it happen? Or why is it important? Also use bullet points. So that's especially true if you're using facts and figures. I recommend that you do use facts and figures, but add them as bullet points so they're easy to digest. Journalists love facts and figures. Okay, step six is to add your company description at the bottom of the press release. Don't add it through your story. Don't add it at the top. Make sure that it's right down at the bottom. It's like the last thing that the journalist really wants to see. Okay, step seven. This is important too. It's kind of like an old school technique, but it still has its place today. You need to add three hash signs or pound signs at the end of your press release. This tells the journalist that your press release has ended. It all also communicates that you know what press releases are, that you have experience with this. So you might be easy to work with. Now, the important thing to note with this or any marketing strategy is that you have to be consistent because when you are consistent, you can achieve amazing results. Like Matt, he's made two million dollars thanks to my traffic methods. And if you want to know the secret and you are serious about growing a popular and profitable internet business, then of course you need more traffic because traffic equals money. So I will give you the traffic methods that I never share on YouTube or anywhere else for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and get that free training course. And if you found today's tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Thanks for watching. Take care.